The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looks as ready as ever for action tonight. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Swagger on another level. Here and comes Mello. From Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes is a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher. Hayes is ready for action to begin. Kicking things off with Cody Rhodes. It's been a long, strange road home for the American Nightmare, but Cody Rhodes has made it clear that he's not about the past anymore. He's back in WWE to cement his legacy and finish the task he started. It's all or nothing time for the grandson of the plumber. All or nothing indeed as Rhodes looks to take a big step here tonight. And lining him up from across the ring is Carmelo Hayes, one of the most dazzling superstars on the roster today. While Melo is money, sometimes his mouth writes tricks he can't catch. If Hayes was more focused on proving himself in the ring rather than on the mic, he might be unstoppable. Springboard clothesline! Well, now it's roll up! And he manages to kick out at one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Bulldog! Look at that insult to injury with that one. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Yeah. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right in the arm. Cody Rhodes performing at his very best now that he's back in WWE. Corey, how can his opponent prepare tonight? Cody Rhodes loves to play mind games with his opponents. He is the American Nightmare after all. If you're up against Cody, the key is not to let him get in your head. Otherwise, you've already lost. Oof, ruthless striking. Carmelo is losing his grasp for this match now. Continued offense courtesy of Cody Rhodes. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Had that one scouted. Larry, he's on his heels a bit now. Look out! Suicide dive! Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. 
Shot after shot. Boom, right in the button. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh, ruthless striking. And Carmelo gets cut off. Picking the leg. Oh, we got a C. There it is. Figure four leg lock. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Back straight into the post on the outside. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. He steps foot in the ring again. And they just got back in. Snap suplex. Up high. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Forearm club. Oh! Cody's heart being put to a test now. Excellent display of the raw talent Hayes possesses. Oh, face stop. Just breaking down the opponent. And Hayes is having his way. Rhodes has his opponent. For Crossroads. Rhodes just turned the lights out. Two. Oh, kick out, kick out of two. Oh, that was more than close. That was inches away from three. Millimeters. You got to wonder what more Cody has to do. To no way. Suicide. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. And A's turning it around. Super kick! And he's able to reverse. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. The sheer confidence of Carmelo Hayes taking over a little. the loss. Hayes just wasn't able to get the win tonight, but not for a lack of trying. La Familia is before us, and they are all business. Came up the hard way, paid their dues, and now reaping success. 
The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 472 pounds. Tony D'Angelo and Channing Stax Lorenzo, the D'Angelo family. Tony and Stax have each taken an oath to the D'Angelo family. If you mess with the family, you pay the price. The Don and his underboss are united in their goals and their tactics. One of the top teams to come out of NXT. They are a danger on any brand. Well, here comes a true bully. And their opponents first representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 300. And 26 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Bubba Ray Dudley. A tag team legend, but has no problem being a bully on his own. Now, there's no separation anxiety on his own for Bubba. He's extremely comfortable competing at a table for one. When it comes to Bubba Ray, prepare for a crash landing. Now, Bubba Ray Dudley is his own brand of tough. Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. And from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, Tsunami! The D'Angelo family has been running the underground of the WWE for a while now, and it's brought them quite a bit of success. I agree, though whether Tony D and Stax are doing that by the book or not, is up for a discussion, but there's no arguing that their success is also due to their incredible in-ring ability and presence. I think it might be a little bit of both. Perhaps they've greased a few palms in the WWE. And as their opponents, you need to cut the ring in half. You're facing a team with great synergy. Keeping them apart will be essential to success. Isolation is certainly a key to neutralizing any great tag team. Oh, and Stax fights back. Oh, jaw shattering. Left by the turnbuckles. Here he comes off the tag. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Stax shows the wherewithal. Planning on what to do next. Can't prepare your face for that. And Stax didn't figure out a defense for that maneuver. Reed wanted to make an impact on the opposition, and he just did. Double kick finds the spot. Oh, stomping away. Tagged into the action. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, a stiff headbutt. He gets out of the way. Get him into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Tags him in. Oh, look at a 
grind the features off their face. Uh, right across the top row. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. He could pin his opponent right here. No shoulders up at two. Wow. Delivers the knee. There was no respect for D'Angelo with that move. Counters that. Stiff kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Tagged in. Axe handle. And he's able to counter. Ah, takedown. And now punches right. Teen off. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Down he goes. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face across the top rope. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Ooh. Ah, knee left. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Ooh, face first. Battling ringside and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Dax gets countered. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Able to get there in time. Uh-oh. Caught with that sharp elbow. Oof, that can knock you out. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh, Bubba Ray now on the offensive.
check. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. but will emerge victorious tonight. Yeah, that's one of the performances you talk about for years to come. Well, we've got some company here. Some congratulatory company? It seems to me like the celebration might be cut a little short tonight. There is new business on the horizon. No rest for the weary. The LWO is in the building. It's time for everyone to stand up and take notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro, the LWO. The LWO is out here to have some fun and show just what they can do between those ropes. Never underestimate the LWO because they are a talented force to be reckoned with. Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. And their opponents at a combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Roberto Los Lotharios. The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight. Los Lotharios are hoping for a quick win here so they can hurry back to all their adoring fans. Uh, don't hold your breath, ladies.
Angel and Umberto, Los Lothario, set for action here tonight. These two have a tendency to lose their focus, but when they're on, they are absolutely impressive, guys. Yeah, Los Lotharios are not just smooth with the ladies. When it comes to the in-ring work, they have some of the smoothest offense you will ever see. Hopefully, they can focus up on this one. Well, the LWO is in the building, and we all know this team is strong. Strong separately, but even stronger together. They represent a culture, represent each other, and they represent the WWE Universe. And I think they're going to make everyone proud tonight. The springboard attack fails to land. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He went right into that turnbuckle. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Uh-oh. And he's able to fight Angel off. Picture perfect drop kick. Big down one. Wow. Oh, into a power bomb. That was a power bomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Angel didn't exactly come up big against that one. Yeah, Wild knocked him around in the style fitting of Legato del Fantasma. Spine Buster with a sit out. Nasty. No, a kick out. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Vicious right forearm. Hooked up. DDT. Now that'll do some serious damage. Oh, that might have just broken something. Clothesline. Yeah. Oh my, a chumpy DDT. Absolutely planted. Big splash. Jarring impact. Clean tag for his partner. Running Hurricane Rana. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Del Toro has him. Standing Spanish Flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Great counter. Sent into the corner. being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Both knees in the, the cover. He narrowly avoids the count. This could be a tipping point in this match. Tag is made, and here we go. Textbook scoop slam. Picture perfect drop kick. Scouted by Wild. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. on the wrong action there. Such physicality from Joaquin Wilde. Great wherewithal on the counter. And Umberto is one step quicker. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, oh reversal catches Umberto. the advantage after a string of counters. Sequence of reversals there. Oh, goodness, what a moonsault. 
He can do it here. Kick out. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Here's the cover for the win. And he fights it off. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Double up, big back body drop. He knew that was coming. Close line. Off with their head. Wicked kick to the face. Well scouted by Umberto. Chris Lock using the ropes. Wow! He can end it here! He's got him! Almost ended it there. He just won't give up. Hung out to dry. Oh, an overhand punch. He's starting to struggle here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? No, goodness, for the win! It's over! It is over! Here are your winners! And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. Los Lotharios set to celebrate in style. Now the question is which lucky ladies will join him for the after party? Where there's smoke, there's now the fire. A woman who says she will let her flames guide her path to the top. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, Elba Fire! Gentlemen, the fire is rising. She has taken the pain from her past and become a dominant force inside the ring. Dark magic runs in this woman's blood, and she's ready to cast a spell on the entire women's division. Alba Fire, representing generations of warriors in her bloodline, ready to pay homage to her clan. Alba Fire ready to inflict untold psychological torture and physical agony. It would appear that the annihilation of the women's division is imminent.
Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. And from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green! Chelsea Green won many major titles from independent promotions, but now is one of the top names in WWE. Uh, and Michael, she's pretty much annoyed every general manager she's ever encountered along the way, too. Let's see if Chelsea gets her way tonight. She always does. We're set for action with the harrowing Alba Fire. Lately, she's seemed guided by spirits who direct her to unleash vengeance on her opponents. Yeah, and I gotta say, Alba's pre-match seance is eerily unsettling. I accidentally walked in on it backstage. Ugh, it's just creepy. Whether she's calling on the dark spirits to aid her or using her wicked arsenal, fire is a serious threat to any competitor. But she's facing off against someone who will go straight to the manager if she doesn't get her way in this one. Chelsea Green. Look, there is nothing wrong with making the system work. Face first. Uh, setting up. It's locked in. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, and elbow does the job. Driven down face first. Now the fire has had a career of ups and downs. Corey, that has to be weighing on her mind going into this match tonight. That's what makes Alba Fire so successful, Cole. She doesn't let her past decide her future. Any of her losses become fuel for the fire, so to speak. I think that tenacity will come into play big time here tonight. Compromised position here. Targeting the throat there. And that can rattle Chelsea Green's foundation. Yeah, as Fire's patented killer instinct was on display. Off the rope. Tope got Hilo. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. Nothing fancy about that. Oh, man, targeting the leg. And now thrown back into the ring. Big form. Oh, she responds with a counter. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Knife edge chop. Solid contact across the chest. Ooh. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. Jeez. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Fire scaling the turnbuckles. From the top. Ah, oh, she misses the mark. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. She could pin her opponent right here. Rope break, pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. What are we gonna see here? The wheels uh -oh. are turning. Here we go. All the way. Uh It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. 
As the arm bar stretch in. Just stretching out the arm. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Basement drop kick. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Takes out the knee. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. That looks painful. Green is being stifled in this one. Yeah, and like I said, Cole, that tenacity from Alba's past is motivating her big time right now. The scary queen of Scots with a royal gesture to the crowd here. Winner, Alba Fire has done it. Here is your winner, Alba Fire. A countout win is still a win. When a match is decided by countout, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone. Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room.
Like something straight out of a comic book, here comes Axiom. The masked hero of WWE has arrived. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom! Axiom says he wants to be a symbol people can rally behind. Well, he's got the support of much of the WWE Universe already. A superb athlete. Axiom is ready to take his game to the next level. And right any wrongs he encounters along the way. That's the bell, and this one's on. An opponent cannot take their eyes off Axiom for a second. He's so fast and strikes with such precision. Every second counts, Cole. Axiom's speed keeps him a step ahead and causes opponents to... Goes into the pin. Gets the shoulder up at one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Yikes. Oh, man. Standing shooting star press. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Goodness gracious. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Karrion Cross looking to put down his opponent. What's his best chance to do that? Pure, unbridled aggression. Cross competes more like a cage fighter than a WWE superstar, and he should use that to his advantage. Most guys are looking for a contest of skill or something. They aren't expecting this kind of fight, the kind of fight Cross can give them. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace, that right there is how you do it. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. And Cross's path to destruction gets put on hold there. The analytical mindset of Axiom contributed to that precision. away your opponents. A manager grabbing anything under the ring is beyond unfair. It don't do it! Suicide dive! Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. And now gets tossed into the ring. He steers clear of contact. Picture He's feeling the effects of that. Ankle lock. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. Beautiful takedown. All oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. shooting star. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. There's two. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Obviously still has some fight left. Uh, arm bar. <gasps> Ooh, turned it into a jawbreaker. Ross showing outrageous power. Face buster. Will it be? Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Almost. 
almost inhuman at this point. Karrion Cross in the corner. Evading offense. Cross out of harm's way. Vicious right forward. He's struggling a bit here. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Single leg drop kick. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. And it's Axiom with the victory. Speed kills. Axiom able to seize the moment and ascend to victory. Axiom was able to block out all adversity. Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from air scotland weighing in at 254 pounds the scottish warrior drew mcintyre mcintyre has summoned the wwe universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny, a top WWE. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? And his opponent from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT Champion, Adam Cole. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally get it.
There is no sword sharper than that of the Scottish warrior. Be ready for extreme brutality. The bell sounds, and for Drew McIntyre, that sound symbolizes a call to arms. McIntyre is a gladiator you only find in history books. The Scottish warrior has attacks sharper than the blade of the sword he wields. Movements more swift than that of a Highland Dirk. The more heightened his defenses are, the more powerful he becomes. There is no safe quarter when you're in the ring with Drew McIntyre. Yeah, but you cannot discount the heart of a champion right here. Even though the title is safe. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? Shifts it back onto him. Well scattered reversal there. Drew McIntyre's the most formidable competitor. Can he do it here? Oh, somehow. Staying in this one. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. McIntyre with an incredibly ruthless sequence. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor like McIntyre. Earled away. God. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being toss like that. He's reversing the momentum on him. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Continuing to work on the arm with a... Driving a knee into the arm. Brutal stomp to the body and followed up by another to the chest. Up high. What? And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, McIntyre putting as much power as he can behind his offense. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Ow. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Delivering the suplex. McIntyre's just so dominant. Drew is looking thrilled with the beating he's putting on. Drew McIntyre gets the win. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. It would have been great to see a pinfall or submission win here. Quite a shame it ended by count out.
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, Man! Jey Uso in something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. Well, as much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jey needs to do on his own. And Jey is more than equipped to do it. Already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. One word to describe the relationship between Jey Uso and Sami Zayn is tumultuous. These two have been everything from bitter enemies to his closest brothers. Yeah, emotions have to be high for Jey and Sami tonight. They both know each other so well and both know what lengths they're going to have to go to in order to get the win. We'll just have to see where their tumultuous relationship stands after this match. Corey, who do you think comes out ahead tonight, Sami or Jey? With all the issues between these two, there's no way of knowing. But it will be interesting to see whether it's Sammy's calculating mind or Jay's hot-headed snap decisions that prevail here. Oh, that might have just broken something. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. The arm absorbing the damage. And what a reversal from Jay Uso. Right across the small of the back. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. And Sammy's focus looked like it was shaking after that. Oh, and that buys some time. Oh, right in there. Oh, here it is. Boom. Scorpion death drop. Super kick. And here comes the cover. Is it enough though? Well, hey, 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 hey. Feet on the ropes. If you're going to do it, don't get Please. caught. error there. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, court the clothesline to deny that maneuver. DDT! Fight! Shot to the chest. Oh my God, a DDT! Spiked him. Sammy can't find a foothold in this match. A furious Jey Uso unleashing on Zayn here. And quick response to Jey's offense. He's looking to get back in this. Could be a chance for Sammy to change the complexion of this match. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. Oh, 
That's how you wear down your opponent. Ouch. Just cranking the head. Here we go, your favorite call, Blue Thunder Bomb. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. The end was in sight. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, and face first. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. He's looking a little weary now. That's just the kind of thing main event Jey Uso does, gentlemen. You saw that one coming. Took advantage. Getting set up for something. Oh, oh, Sami Zayn. Is Zayn closing this out? Makes a cover. And a kick out. An emphatic kick out from Jey Uso. How in the world did he get the shoulder off? Look at Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. Boom! What a forearm. Rapid fire. Samoan drop. Jay with an opening to go high. Uso. Uso splash by Jay. Does that finish Sammy off? He's still in this fight. I cannot believe that Sami Zayn wants to prolong this fight any further. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's gotta do to put him away. Crank in the head. Blow for blow, hold for hold. Neither Sami nor Jay is giving up an inch, giving up a centimeter. Oh, Zayn and Sami Zayn digging deep, looking to turn the tides of this matchup. Zayn off the ropes and punctuated with a drop kick. Vicious right forearm. Beautiful athleticism. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. with a brutal answer. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Caught with a DDT. And Jay finds himself on the receiving end again. Much like his... And the victory! Here is your winner. Sami Zayn with an incredible victory over Jey Uso here. I have a feeling this is only going to create a bigger rift between these two. Yeah, Byron, decisions will be made after this match, and those... This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. 
weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. You are looking at one of the hardest hitting competitors in NXT history. A man who's ready to unleash fury on the entire WWE roster. We all know Lashley's physique is that which has been sculpted from Mount Olympus itself. This guy won't win a pose down against the Almighty. Do you think there's a chance he can win a fight? Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley striking fear in the hearts and minds of everyone who dares cross his path. Whether he's holding a title or not, the champion spirit and mentality always drives the almighty. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. You know, I kind of like that Ilya Dragunov goes at every opponent with full intensity. Shoulders down. And he breaks the count quickly. He's still in this. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Establishing complete control. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Tossed into the corner. Shoulder tackle. Boom. It's okay. They weren't that pretty anyway. Well, that'll do some serious damage. And Dragunov's resolve might be wavering here. Wait, 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 wait. And quick getting the arm up. He is still very much in this. Close line. Good Lord. So can he score the pin? Whoa. And a kick out at two. Very close. The T clearly set again. Saw that one coming. And that was an effective attack, guys. Vicious right forearm. And the DDT. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Incoming, big clothesline connects, and more to come. Pow! Crushed in the corner with a second clothesline. DDT! There he goes, right into the corner. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Bad predicament right here. Oh, right across the throat. In the cover. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Big boot. Oh, I heard a snap. And again in the other direction. He may be in a bad way here. Lashley still putting every ounce of muscle into his offense. Tossing him aside. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Ow.
Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Oh. Back suplex. Spine crushing. Every move from Lashley is just thunderous. Dragunov has run into a roadblock. Yeah. Repeated waistlock takedowns. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Hoist their opponent all the way up. Just holding their opponent there. That's a 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000. They can go all night. Oh, I didn't nice. know you could count that high, Saxton. Shut up, Corey. Gore Buster. He's finding himself in trouble here. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. To run out of ringside and back to the mat. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. And Dragunov finds himself on the defensive. Bobby's just too... Bobby Lashley measuring his opponent. The spear! Cut him right in, off into the pin. Two! He... No way! No way! Ilya Dragunov with a tremendous kick out. And you have to think that the Mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger from here on out. I know. He's thrilled about the kick out, but you have to think Lashley is at least glad he gets to dish out a little more punishment. Momentum going back to Ilya's corner. Time for Dragunov to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Dragunov looking to attack from above. Oh, look out. Whoa, what a landing. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Leg breaker. Lands in the drop zone. Crippling attack on the knee. Lashley a step ahead. DDT. Dragunov controlling the pace now. And Dragunov showing that Unba Zikbar truly makes him unstoppable. Ah, face first off the post. Back into the ring. Dominating shoulder tackle. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Oh, God, that hurt. Sit right back. And he's taking this to the outside now. Now ah, trampling the opposition. And it looks like they might have thrown Lashley off his game. And the intensity in every move Dragunov delivers doesn't seem to be wavering one bit. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. And gets tossed back into the mat. Cover. Breaks the close count. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And that attack has to weaken Lashley even more. Lashley has been through the ringer before. He can fight through this. <laughs> oh, that'll scratch you up. Lashley is unable to stop any attack. Bobby's arsenal is being taken away. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Elbow drop. Piercing. Big elbow. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. He's positioning himself. Closing in. Plunge out to the outside. Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. 
tossed back into the ring. Lashley absolutely not backing down. Absolutely displaying the will to stay alive. And Dragunov can't let this get to his head. He needs to keep going. Needs to keep fighting. Up high. Oh, does he get him here? Try to end it. What a win. What a hard-fought battle we just experienced. I'm not sure how well this superstar is going to take the loss. Or maybe not too bad at all. That's what you love to see. Great sportsmanship after a spectacular match. The lights have gone out, heralding the arrival of Bray Wyatt.
The time is almost at hand. Bray Wyatt is about to deliver a reckoning. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And his opponents first from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in. is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. And representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance, dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's gotta feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory's virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. You can love him or you can hate him, but you must acknowledge him. A certified GOAT competing at his all-time best. Reigns is now an unstoppable force. Three of WWE's best in what should be a hectic triple threat match. For this one, it'll be Bray Wyatt, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Roman Reigns. All three superstars will have to keep their head on the swivel. Oh, oh strong impact. Oh, what a clothesline. Vicious right forearm. Placed in the corner. Turning the tables. Boom, what impact. Countered it. Just 
just in time. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Taking this to the floor. Whoa, whoa, baby, so down there, Wild Thing. Do you really need a bat right now? He was waiting for him to make his move. Corey, there are so many variables in a triple threat. Does that make it possible to execute any sort of strategy? Oh, everybody's got a plan until they get drilled in the face. You gotta watch your back. The shot that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. Byron, how do you plan for a battle like this? Well, I try and fight out of a corner because then at least you see everything that's in front of you. Thrown back in under the ropes. Ah, oh, jeez. Kick to the gut. <laughs> what a right! Nakamura's globe trident experience being put to the test here. Yeah, Reigns came looking to prove his dominance, and he's doing just that right now. Oh, kick to the face. No clue what he hopes to find down there. The tribal chief has assisted, him, and the tribal chief. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Inverted DDT! Fight. Got a great display of strength with the suplex. Knee lift by Nakamura. Look out! Into the axe kick. Oh. Hits back against Nakamura. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Dodge right on cue. He can end it here! And he breaks the pin. Tough position to be caught in here. Right across the larynx. A snap man. Break dodges the attack. To the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And a series of vicious stomps. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Up and down. What a slam. He's been placed in the corner now. Knee right to the midsection. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. Puts a stop to that. Reigns. Wow, Reigns nailed it. Double axe handle. Oh, man. He must have had that scouted. Shoulder tackle. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tremendous victory in this triple threat match. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing victorious after that battle, gentlemen, beating one other superstar's no walk in the park, let alone two.